Well, today is a pivotal day in the mobile world. The former tech titan Nortel Networks uh, auctions off 6,000 patents with everyone from Google to Apple to Intel vying for this rare piece of intellectual property. Joining me now is Alexander uh, Polterak. He's the chairman and CEO of General Patent Corporation, who focuses on tech patent licensing, also the author of Essentials of Intellectual Property. Alex, great to have you with us. Very good to be with you. So the company that gets these patents gets what? Well, let's remember that it's not the technologies that, be, uh, that are being sold. It's the patents that are mm -hmm. being sold. Although this Patents cover a wide gamut of technologies ranging from uh, wireless, 4G, internet, semiconductor chips, even uh, social networks. It is the patents that have been sold, and patents by themselves don't give you even the right to practice the patented invention. It only gives you right to exclude others from practicing patented invention, which means that license really is an exclusionary right or right to sue. By definition, patent is a license to sue. In financial terms, sue. in financial okay. terms, buying a patent, you're buying an option call for future litigation. That's why this auction is so important. Many people fear these patents, which are essentially uh, tools of the war, will spark a new round of patent wars in the telecom industry that is not notorious for its patent litigation. Well, there's lots of litigation all the time between these companies. That's yes. right. But patents could be used in offensive or defensive way. If a company buys patent portfolio such as this and files a patent infringement lawsuit, either to enforce their market monopoly or to extract royalties such as Nokia, for example, recently extracted royalties from Apple right. as a result of patent litigation, that's an offensive use of patents. A defensive use when a company buys patents in order to... Uh, prevent other people from buying these patents and sue them for infringement. And this is what As we're talking about here? It may be, depends who buys the patents. Right. right? It, also, another way of using the patents defensively, if you are sued on a patent infringement, you may go to your stockpile and find some patents that your competitor is using and counter sue them for patent infringement. And that's exactly why uh, companies maintain huge stockpiles of patents. It's sort of uh, I heard this back to the old uh, Cold War doctrine of uh, mutual assured destruction. <laughs> but, I mean, surely these companies, though, would not be paying, you know, the price tag we've been hearing up to uh, over a billion, maybe even a billion and a half dollars for, the pat for these patents, just for, as you say, this license to sue. I mean, these clearly have distinctive uh, competitive advantages for whoever wins the bid on this, right? Uh, definitely. And these uh, patents have some real crown jewels. Take, for example, LTE portfolio. LT is an acronym for long-term evolution, is a uh, newest standard in wireless telecommunications, part of the uh, G4 network that is rolled out by Verizon Wireless and will be followed soon by other uh, carriers. This portfolio reads on this technology, so whoever is going to get their hands on this portfolio is going to have tremendous advantage. So that's why we see such players as, for example, Google. Google wants to be a contender in the telecom market. But uh, without patents, and Google has very few patents to their name comparing to their competitors. To Apple and others, yes, yeah. and Motorola and uh, uh, Nokia. Uh, it's like trying to be a superpower without being a nuclear power. <laughs> it doesn't work. And Nortel portfolio, as far as, as far as patents go, it has a lot of nukes in it. It certainly seems that way in the 6,000 or so that are going to be auctioned off. Who do you think likely is going to get this? Gonna get, I mean, I know it's speculation, but who do you think is likely going to get these patents then? Well, there are five qualified bidders right now. We include Google, who was a stocking horse, and Intel, and Apple, and two uh, industry consortiums, one led by RPX, another ad hoc industry consortium. It seems to be that the bidding is going to be uh, pretty much between three main players here, which is Google, Intel, and uh, Rockstar, which is this ad hoc industry consortium, mm. which includes some uh, handset makers and uh, telecom infrastructure manufacturers. Okay. All right, so maybe a three-horse race then. Uh, thank you, Alex, for joining us. Really appreciate this.